They all resisted it. I don't think we're in on this one. I think we are very much out. <laughs> Courier is far in front of the guards. Guards still not leaving. Courier is a little bit faster than me. Wait, guards have left. Let me hit one more. Okay, courier is slow as hell and the guards have left. Whoa, okay, uh, we're not gonna even attempt to do between the eyes stuns anymore. Trolls blood potions? No. I think I could reapply crippling poison if I needed to. How many arrows? 148, but we're not using arrows. We're using durability on my degraded dire nail. Can someone, um, let's see. Uh, a lot of my guild is in Western Plague Lands, but I can't exactly type to them. If anyone's on Crusader Strike, can you tell Jerome that I need help Someone message Jerome. Tell him to message me. No hit Jerome. Yeah. Yeah, we need help. He'll rip aggro with one heal? No, I have just a flesh wound on. I have like eight threat on this mob right now. Because I get a 200% modifier or whatever. Looks like you have this under control. Drum, 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 drum. Listen, listen, listen. I need to invite people to my group so they can come to my lair. I have the courier isolated from his guards. Uh, I managed to split the courier off. But as you can see, I simply lack the capability. It's going to take like two hours at this rate, okay? Keep spawning the cauldrons. Okay. Let me try to send Bahafos. Okay, have him whisper me and I, I will invite him to my lair. We, we need to call in reinforcements. Too busy getting... You guys and your Argent Dawn rep, dude. Who even cares? There's a Crusader Orb 2% chance on the table here. Corvinot, whisper me.
Uh, we just have to kite it until the cavalry arrives. Okay. Where the fuck is the mop? Fuck, I lost it for a moment. I was worried. I'm gonna die if she heals. We just invited two rogues, dude. They can interrupt the heal. They'll interrupt the heal for sure. Crossbow skill up. I ain't kicking. <laughs> Other rogue will. Good point, Vax. Okay, right, Jerome. Jerome, can you? I like. I understand some of the cavalry's at the, at the um, at the cauldron. But I can't exactly type in guild chat right now. Do you think you can, uh, like, sound the alarm for anyone else that does want to come help and tell them to message me? Alright, we got three rogues now. Look, look, the health is below... You can see that some of the health is removed now. See? Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with Wowhead, but if you look at the Crimson Courier loot table, it shows Righteous Orb. If you look at the Righteous Orb dropped from table, it doesn't show Crimson Courier, which is weird. And I don't I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah, dude, we're gonna have to this is this is the stream content from now on, okay? Every day I'm gonna go live and I'm gonna kite the Crimson Courier. Actually, maybe we'll take one day to level up my hunter and then actually be able to kill the Crimson Courier. Yeah, I think it would be faster if I leveled up my hunter that has zero raid gear from level 38 to 50 and then used my hunter to do this. Like, I could log out literally right now and stop this, um, stop this kite and probably get my hunter to 50 before I would have killed this, uh, here. What's the durability on my weapon? 33 still? Nice. Do I have any mods capable of changing the stream title? Like Righteous Orb for Crusader Enchant? Omega Hypers? Look, Jerome, I've been kind of fucking around all day. I didn't expect something actually cool to happen. Do I bring my 50 Hunter? No, no, Windy, Windy, you don't even understand. I don't think you even understand how long this is going to take. When it gets to 50%, it will heal itself. It'll cast Holy Light. You know what's probably going to happen before this mob dies? The four guardsmen are going to make it all the way. Oh shit, the first of the cavalry has arrived. You see him on the horizon? That that's like that's like fucking Gandalf coming to coming to Helm's Deep, riding down the side of the mountain, the blinding light he's not attacking. What is he doing? Oh shoot, we're getting healed. Wait, no, we we didn't get healed at all. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I have only 7k threats, so you're gonna have to deal with that. That's the situation. Okay, it looked- oh shit, I just actually landed my first between the eyes stun. If you land a kidney on it, I might be able to run in and rupture and make a bunch of threat. Or something like that. DR? Oh, yeah, maybe with my between the eyes, huh? Look at this, it's down to 70% already. Probably gonna heal soon. I've got 8.7 threat. Looks like Vexed is at 5.9. The kick got inter the heal got interrupted. Let's go. Got it with my unreliable gun stun. Okay. We're just, we're killing it. We're killing it for sure now, okay. What the, no! Oh, I was too slow. I think we were both too slow. Whatever, it was only 6%. Look, we got insane DPS now. Uh, Ritter, you might need to vanish off that threat, I, or, um... Wait, is Vexed Ritter? I can't remember, I, I forget the Twitch names, yes. Okay. Twenty percent. Holy Light kicked. Hmm, kidney, okay. Okay. Guys, it's happening. We're killing the Crimson Courier. About to loot a fucking Righteous Orb. And split the profits equally with everyone involved. Oh god, 981 health. He stopped attacking. I I can't get close to it. It will literally one-shot me. I I can't I also cannot beat it if it's the the heals aren't interrupted. <laughs> Cause my DPS is um eight. Okay, the knife, the gun stun failed. Okay, we're getting healed slightly. I like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, nice. Interrupted. Okay. Gun stun. I'm going in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, we need a prediction. 30 second prediction. Did the orb drop? Prediction. Start prediction. Did the orb drop? Yes, no. 30 seconds on the clock. That's all you guys get. Get your points in. Get your points in. Righteous orb. It's right here. 2% according to Wowhead. 2%. Thank you, Vexed, for showing up. All right, there's currently almost 700,000 channel points riding on this. 
Hang on, I have to turn off my auto looting, Weekora. It's already off, never mind. We got rune cloth, boys. We got three rune cloth. It'll, it, we'll just, we'll layer swap and we'll do it again. Layer swap, do it again. Did the orb drop? Uh, uh, no, actually. Actually, the answer is no. <laughs> Alright, we gotta send one rune cloth to Vexed. Plun... Dirt and one to Corvi. Very generous splits. <laughs> Alright, well I would say that was pretty Pog Champ. I would say that was that was great. I loved it. Should we layer hop and do it again? That actually seemed pretty straightforward. Aside from, oh yeah, the part that was difficult was getting them to split. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if we're gonna be able to get them to split again. Well, I mean, that was cool as hell. I think we should, I, I think we should do it again. All right, what layer do we have now? We just got a layer swap invite. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Arevian, this, I'm currently on three, according to my add-on. If you can find the courier, I'd be happy to be invited to your lair. Ah, uh, but I think I can look around for the courier on this lair now. So, uh, when we look for the courier, we start at one end of the patrol. Make sure it's there or not there. And then just go the whole length of the patrol. What are we farming today? Well, we're farming the Crimson Courier. And the reason is we're trying to get a Righteous Orb. So that maybe... We can get a Crusader enchant. The thing I linked you into- yeah, I- I understand. I know, but like, right now I'm all on about- I'm on about the, uh, Righteous Orb, okay? It's 
Scarlet Enchanter and Scarlet Cleric, right? That I need to kill for the other thing. Like level 54 caster mob? That's a noob mob if you ask me. Dude, we'll off that guy easily. How much health does he have? T only 10k? Wait, I might actually be able to kill that guy. Okay, we'll try one enchanter. Try one enchanter. Oh, what did you get? You will receive a fortune, it says. Oh. Uh, okay, let's set up. We want deadly brew. We do not want between the eyes. We want in venom. Is a caster mob. Do we want a boot rune like waylay? Yeah, probably. Any other thing to set up? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I want to probably have decay and sandstorm. All right, I'll try this one mob. Spellbook. Racial Blood Fury. There we go. Picked. Fucking easy, dude. Maybe we'll come back here later to farm a 1500 gold elixir of sages recipe. That one's level 55 though. That's another story. Okay, right now we're scouting for the Crimson Courier and see if we can get another split. How much was the Decay Trinket? Uh, about 350 gold. I bought it like Saturday or Sunday before the fair was in town before anyone myself included knew if it would be good or not did you repair the offhand nah dude it's still got 33 durability it's fine uh oh hunter egg and cheese going along the same route as the crimson courier patrol on this layer do they already is this already widespread information? Trying to look in Corrin's Crossing. Oh, shit. Wait. Bodyguard. X4. Yeah, look, it's Bodyguard X4. No courier this layer. Okay, so I need a different layer. Oh shit, we aggroed that guy. Slow him and then just run the fuck away. Oh, Swadge is here. I know Swadge. Simon, when do you release Kata Assassination Guide? I don't. Someone else will. I'm not doing guide writing uh, for Cataclysm. Because uh, I think uh, re-upping to an expansion that already has a WoW token to it is uh, kind of stupid. Okay.
Alright, we've got a new layer and a new me. Okay. Yeah, to Jerome, here's the thing. Okay, I was when, before I had figured out if I could, like, when I was still, like, figuring out if I could do this, another hunter showed up. An alliance hunter. And in, in the game said, I solo. Like, used some add-on to so it translated properly. Whatever. And I was, in my head, I was like, fuck no, I'm not letting this person take my courier that I don't even know if I can kill. So... I fucking walloped that hunter, okay? I opened, cheap shotted, mutilate, mutilate, mutilate. Hunter is dead, okay? Um, then I try to pull the courier. I screw it up. I die. Then I come back to my corpse, resurrect. The hunter instantly flares and frost traps and kills me. Um,. And then the hunter comes into my my chat and starts like, I don't know, being weird. And I'm like, okay, I don't want someone who's literally competing with me in game over a limited resource to be watching my every movement. So I banned him. Then I think he logged into an alt account to complain more. So I banned them too. Um, but by the time I got back to my corpse, it was evident that the four bodyguards were there, and the courier was dead, and a third person in chat claimed that, um, that the hunter was in their guild and had said in guild chat that they killed the courier already. If he's banned from stream, he can still view? I, I'm not, actually, I'm not 100% on that. Here's the thing, just... Just think, think about the YouTube glory of being the first person to upload a video confirming that you can get fucking Righteous Orb in Season of Discovery. Okay? Okay, so we're at Tears Hand. We definitely did not... The, the courier is definitely not here. There's another cleric. It's level 55. We could try to kill this to get an elixir of sages recipe. I think I'm game to do that while we're here. Uh, Spellbook. Blood Fury. This thing probably heals. Ooh, Mind Blast. I do not want to get hit by that. Garrow running out. Oh, he just hit me for a lot. And we're vanishing. That one didn't go as well as the Enchanter. Can you get the Crusader enchant? Yeah, a bunch of people have the enchant recipe already. That one is not hard. What's hard is to get the materials for the enchant. I'm probably going to aggro here. Uh, no, okay, I think I'm safely through. Okay. This is just a raid build right now. It's nothing special for, like, farming or whatever. Yeah, maybe I have to toggle that on so people who are banned can't watch. You know, it, it's like, I am streaming. I do open myself up to this. But it's like, I also have the ability, like, w when someone's going to use the stream to their advantage to compete with me in-game for limited resources, yeah, I'm also just going to immediately ban them when I, I think that's going on, you know? So, I like, I'm not mad that it happens. I just deal with the problem and move on.
Mm, not in Corrin's Crossing here. But it looks like we're away from these mobs safely. The music is a, it's just a playlist on my local... Uh, uh, the files are local, so I don't have a, like, published playlist. Right now, it's Super Smash Bros. Melee uh, soundtrack. It's all video game soundtracks. Here it is. Uh, we gotta put crippling poison on first. Fucking bat. Oh shit. Okay, I'm running away from this bat. Oh, my runes? Poison knife. Oh yeah, I should have between the eyes and I should... Actually, the chest rune doesn't matter. But yeah, I should have... Yeah, between the eyes. Good call. And we could go quick draw. Probably better than nothing. Okay. Oh, and we gotta remove these trinkets. Alright, I'm not gonna drink the troll's blood potion until I successfully split the mobs. We don't want any healing or any buffing or any anything happening until the split is confirmed successful. Oh, shit. I was a little too close. Don't want that grub. Okay, that's fine. I'll have sprint soon. There. The split is the split's done. Switch weapies. Okay, back to the bridge. We're killing it again, boys. Don't get the bat, don't get the bat. Oh, uh, the bridge might not be a good place to have this because her guards are going to patrol onto the bridge shortly. We need to go in the ditch near the bridge. Did you get a rage potion recipe? Um, no. We killed a lot of them and didn't get it. Threat issues incoming? No, I have quick draw this time. Oh, but I don't have the mega threat modifier. Oh, shit. I didn't think about that. I also don't have a eight minute head start on threat. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have threat problems. I think if we just kite in here, this will be good. There's enough room. 
Yeah, Vex, this is gonna be like a literally spam faint type of situation. And I'll try to do a big circle kite. Oh, a little bit too close there. I uh, take it a little bit farther south. That hill was too steep for me to do a nice circle kite at. Okay, this looks like a good area. Okay. Thank you for the reminder. Got the Troll's Blood Potion up now. I'm going to take her a little more this way so I don't run into that steep cliff. Ooh, actually got the stun. Nice. Okay, resume the circle. Uh, Hazumoto asks, what are you farming? Good question. The greed. I went in for the mutilate. Didn't get punished. It looks like the courier will only uh, Hammer of Justice secondary target, not primary threat target. Uh, I'm trying to kill the Crimson Courier because supposedly this mob can drop a Righteous Orb. Uh, and a Righteous Orb is very important because it's a material needed for a Crusader enchant. And normally, you get these from Stratholm instance, which is level 60 dungeon, and uh, it's very high level, and it is uh, not accessible right now. You can't even zone into it. It's not like, oh, we can't kill the mobs. It's Blizzard doesn't let you zone in. Um, So... This is apparently the only way to obtain Crusader Orbs, and thus the only way you could potentially obtain a Crusader Enchant. Would you sell the orb? Yeah, I would try to sell it for a Julie's Dagger, basically. When farm Julie's? That's what we're doing right now. Farm this mob, sell the thing it drops, get Julie's Dagger. If this doesn't work out, we'll just have to sell Elixir of Sages recipes instead. Off a mob I can actually kill. You know, reasonably. Drop chance? Um, about 2% on this mob for Righteous Orb, according to Wowhead. This has 30,000 health, and it heals when it gets below 50. Uh, 50%. Uh, Vex, I don't think I can deadly the offhand. Um, because I need to keep the crippling poison. Uh, I know when I was doing these kites before, I had a weapon swap macro set up. Yeah, you've got waylay, but I think you are going to have threat issues, right? Like, you won't be able to waylay all the time. If you end up with too much threat. So I think it's just safer if I keep uh, crippling poison on. It's okay. It's not a very big heal. We can out DPS the heal. Stun failed. Uh, plundered, I saw the whisper. I saw the whisper, that is excellent. We'll get this one, and we'll do another.
Hmm. We have a dangerous situation. Oh, shit. That was a clutch gouge. Okay, right, we got a third person here now, so it's probably easy. Uh, Merc87, thank you for the Prime sub. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the stream. This is the stream where we get Righteous Orbs, okay? Oh, wait, wait, don't loot it, don't loot it, don't loot it. Stream prediction. Did the orb drop? 30 seconds. Oh, wait. I don't have loot. That's a bad prediction. Hold on. Canceling that prediction. And some delete and return points. We need this on uh, free for all loot. Okay. All right, we got a new layer. Plundered here has scouted it already. Oh, I have lead now. I see. Uh, where is he? He's up here. Okay. He, I, okay, I deleted and returned the points because I realized that it was on group loot. And because you could see that there were no sparkles for me, that, uh, that gave away that a righteous orb didn't drop. Because it would have, it would have popped up, it would have had sparkles. Uh, if there was a, even a chance that the righteous orb had dropped. So it was bad prediction because like you could already if you looked at the screen you could tell what the result was going to be. Okay, do we layers layer hop yet? I don't think we're oh shit now we layer hopped. Right, gotta remove this. Gotta flip that. Okay, we go again. Fuck, I targeted wrong. There we go. Okay, we keep going. There, the guards split. We're good. Oh shit, I fucked up, I fucked up. Get in combat with it. Okay. Okay, good. I think you guys got it. I think you guys got it. I'll run back. I didn't I didn't get the I saw the reset and then I didn't switch the weapon to get the crippling onto the offhand. And then I think someone else got on the threat table. Maybe that's why he hammered me. It seems like he only hammers people who are not primary threat target. I think. Richie, we're trying to kill the Crimson Courier so we can try to get a uh, Righteous Orb. 
Hammer's the closest person. That, I think, is also consistent with what I've observed. Logout skip in the guzzler. The grim guzzler of BRD. That is cool. I'm not sure what it is useful for yet. But cool. Okay. Who's got threat? Vex has threat. Okay. Uh, I need to actually put faint on my bar. Did I train that ability? I have rank one. I'm stunned. Okay, kind of threat issue now. Uh oh, I have maybe too much threat now. Failed the kick, but plundered got it. Uh, what's the loot? Oh, it's on group loot still. Okay, whatever. We'll see what happens. Edge, no loot. Out. <laughs> oh, here's the bodyguards. And it's all good plunder, don't worry about it. <laughs> hmm. Well, we need to keep we need to start keeping track of what layers we've killed the courier on. Uh, let's see. I think there's one other mob that we can do this. Uh, with, uh, mobs. Added in patch, faction found in, um, Eastern Plague Lands, Dungeons... Eastern Plague Lands, Elite, Utility, hmm. ID Mana, Starts Quest, Tameable, Uses Model, Uses Skin, uh, oh, here. Archmage, Commander, Argent Sentry, Father, Demetria. I think this is it. Yep. Wow, it says Righteous Orb 20 out of what the fuck? Objective of the Scarlet Oracle. Demetria is the finale of the Nathanos questline. Complete the Scarlet 
Dimitri uh, Oracle players must find and slay. However, be warned, uh, Dimitri is surrounded by several mobs. She also spawns the moment a player accepts the quest and patrols a route from Tyr's hand before despawning. Therefore, it's highly suggested. Okay, so it sounds like this mob will not spawn unless we get someone actually starting the quest, which looks like it cannot happen. Minutes after you kill it says Mafro Profato. Okay, well, let's go to Stratholme then, yeah. I have no idea what the respawn time is. Uh, let's see. 627.51, we looted one silver, nine copper. I would guess... Oh no, that was, that was something else. Uh, continue now. 626.12. We killed it. 626.12. Okay. Yeah, it definitely spawns at this end of its patrol. I think that's definitely true. Can you do the chain, then drop it and pick it up after each kill? Perhaps, but not right now we can't, because we're not- we can't get high enough level to do that quest chain. Dan Hotch says, this is the layer we killed the first one, and it's already respawned. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we can- we can wait and see when we find the respawn. That would be good information to know. Uh, you know, an, at least an approximate respawn time. Although, trying to split the mob from around here might be difficult. I wonder, some mobs like this, they don't all spawn at, like, instantly the same time. If the courier spawns a couple seconds before the bodyguards, you could just, you could probably just aggro the courier instantly as it spawns and then like the bodyguards would spawn and maybe wouldn't chain with it i also only have one more iron grenade <laughs> this guy's gonna aggro arcane bolt for 354 yeah that's okay not worried. I need a lot of distance to do that uh, splitting, you know. I don't think there's enough space here. I'm just running. Okay, I'm vanishing. Well, let me see. Where can I run back and forth? Can't mount here. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, this is a wide open area. I like that. Probably can't do a full circle around the lake because there's gonna start being hostile mobs over there. You can kite it through that cave that you saw. Uh, I'm not sure what cave you are referring to. Up here somewhere?
Mm. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that when I was here the first time. Alright, how deep does this go? I can apparently mount through here. Okay, except for here. Oh, shit, yeah, that's a lot of distance, and yeah, there's no mobs. Alright. I just want to keep scouting so I know, like, where's the limit. Because eventually I will hit a limit, and I, I need to know where that is so I can plan ahead. Might have to, like, do a U-turn at some point. If any of the rogues can land a stun on him, I can also just U-turn at that point. Too far. Wait, I'm in combat with something. What did I get in combat with? Not that. Did this green thing put me in combat? That's the only weird looking thing around here. And now we're out of combat. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's plenty of room. That, that's a really long stretch. I, I assume that's enough distance for me to split the mob. Gula, gu, goulash Baron? Ah, uh, hello. Good with the three stream watch streak? Hope you're liking the streams. Let's see. Crimson Courier. Righteous Orb, two out of a thousand, 21 out of a thousand, two percent. Ah, uh, what do people say? They despawn at Tears Hand. They don't walk back up the road. We found them in the middle of the zone. Up at Stratham, so we had to search the zone for her again. Okay. She dropped me a Righteous Orb today, 2019. That sounds good to me. Okay, th that's just wrong. He doesn't know how to split the mob. We figured out how to split the mob. Okay. Look at this. Not spotted this far north. How far north are we right now? Okay, we're sp we're right about where we think where I think yeah, okay. I think we're right about in the spot where I think it should spawn. Big 
take pog damage. Loki coming in with a prime. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate your support. How are you doing today? We're uh, staring at the Crimson Courier respawn point. Hoping that it respawns. We killed it at 2526 last time. On the same layer. I think what if we really wanted to like industrial farm this mob we would have we would have it set up so it's like we have people scouting different layers looking for the courier and then we would also have a kill squad that gets invited to one of the scouts layers every time a scout finds the courier and then the kill squad really only needs to be Two or three people. Um, that seems like it's enough. Uh, two, two will get it done. Three will just make it faster and a little more consistent. Uh, so we're just kind of chilling here, seeing how much longer it might take for it to respawn. I think Plundered is hanging out a little farther down the patrol path in case it doesn't actually respawn right here. I don't know how long we're going to wait here. But I'm excited. We can wait a little while. Do you have any sims on Crusader vs. 15 agility? How much of an upgrade is it? For, for rogues, I don't have it implemented into the Season of Discovery spreadsheet. But in the, in the old level 60 Classic Era spreadsheet, um, Crusader was basically on par with agility at level 60. Which makes me think that agility would be better at level 50 because you're getting more percentage critical strike chance at level 50 compared to what you would get at level 60. Uh, really the goal, Jerome, is if we, if we can get a Righteous Orb, then I can sell it and I can finally afford a Julie's Dagger. Okay. That's that's the real end goal. Julie's dagger as well as precisely calibrated boomstick. Look, Reeb's got a Julie's dagger too. And he was asking me like, what's the deal with Julie's? And I told him it's good and I told him he could probably get 1500 gold for it and then i told him i don't have that kind of gold and then he didn't message me again so he probably has 1500 gold and no julie's dagger at this point
Right now, Jerome, what we're doing is we're camping the spawn point. Or what we believe is the spawn point. For the Crimson Courier. And we killed it last time at 526 on the server time. It definitely spawns there. I hope so. You just have to get an idea what the what the respawn time is. I wonder if the respawn time is extended due to the fact that we didn't kill any of the guardsmen. Like, does it have to wait until the guardsmen despawn at Tyr's hand? I don't know. Might be when the... Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Ritter. When the patrol makes it to Tyr's hand. And like the comment said... Um, uh, like the comment said, when they make it to Tyr's hand, they just straight up despawn. And peace out. Bro, two different people messaged me. How's Stratholm going? To they... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about Stratholm, you guys. I got two messages in-game. Back to back. Different people. Weird. Both messaged me, like, at the almost the exact same time. Well, uh, Plundered was on this layer for the very first courier kill we did. And this is also the same layer where the third courier kill we did was. The most recent one. We've done three kills so far. Um, and it's, just, you know, two of those kills were on the same layer. So, we know it respawns, but it might have a pretty long respawn time. I feel like it's gonna spawn and like instantly kill me because it just spawns on top of me. Also, I need to refresh crippling poison. And I think I should just a flesh wound if I'm gonna be the tank. Or the main kiter person. Yeah, I really think, like, this is this is a new frontier here, you know? Like, I don't think people sp have, in the past have spent a lot of time trying to, uh... You must be 45 to enter. Trying to kill the Crimson Courier. Or trying to figure out spawn points or respawn times. What's the new... That new main hand? Oh. You mean my phase bis degraded dire nail from Sunken Temple last boss Shade of Aranicus? Is that what you're asking about, Jixsha? Cause you're right. I do have that. I double soft reserved it. It dropped. The other rogue only put single reserve on it. My two rolls beat his one roll. 
And we got it. All right, new stream prediction. Will it spawn before this prediction? Well, no, if I do it that way. Hang on, we gotta do it like this. Will it spawn before the timer gets to five minutes? Okay, starting timer. You guys have one minute to go put your points in on the prediction. A man has a horse saddle on each <laughs> shoulder. Dude, these are the new extra wide version of Paranoia Mantle. If you're an undead rogue, they're small and lame. But if you're an orc, chad, male rogue, they're extra wide. How do you do that? Uh, soft reserve is a loot system, RR Purot. Uh, and the way, like, the players the players decide on this. It's, you know, all, all like, player decisions of what what's going on. Um, and the way the system works is if you're doing a two soft reserve or a three soft reserve, uh, it means before the raid starts, each person gets to, like, look at all the potential loot that could drop, you know, from figuring it, you know, looking it up on WoWhead or whatever, and pick two items or three items, depending on if you're doing two or three soft reserve, right? So those are their soft reserves. They pick, say, three items. Um, and if I pick Degraded Dire Nail twice, that means if it drops, I get to roll on it twice. Anyways, when any piece of loot drops... First, the people who soft reserved it roll on it. And, you know, if you didn't soft reserve it, you can't roll on it. So it, it goes essentially priority to the people who picked it as their soft reserve. And if no one soft reserved it, then it goes to anyone who needs it. You know, anyone who could use it as an upgrade. Um, so it, it's a loot system that gives you a little more control over, like, prioritizing the items that are important to you uh compared to just like everyone rolls on anything that's an upgrade for them you know uh website it's a soft s-o-f-t-r-e-s soft res dot i-t I think is the website. Hang on, someone in chat said decay wasn't good. Well, here, Decay did 2.8% of my damage. Here was another good boss. Here it did 2.86% of my damage. Uh, that's definitely good enough, enough to be good. Avatar of Hakkar, Decay dealt... 3.09% of my damage. Yeah, that's definitely more than, like, a Rune of the Guard Captain would add. In a three item soft reserve, you do three X tier piece. Should you get to roll three X on every drop until you get a tier piece? I, that's a, a weird situation. Cause it's one where like, I, I don't actually know what the right answer to that is. Normally like a maximum of one of an item can drop. So like the multiple soft reserves makes like perfect sense. 
I I think the way I would do it is like the first one, like say you triple soft reserve the tier token. The first tier token that drops, you get to roll three times on it. If you win it, you only get to roll two times on the next one. Because you having won the item, you know, that consumes one of those three soft reserves. That, that's how it would work in my mind. But that that's a that's one like I would say you would you, if you're confused about that you should clarify with the group before the raid starts. Okay, the timer hit five minutes, and it didn't spawn. Uh, will it spawn before the timer gets to five minutes? No. Uh, start the timer again. Start the prediction again. I want to see. I want to see one more. Crimson courier kill, okay? And if it requires me to simply layer hop to another layer, you know, whatever, but I would also like to know an approximate respawn time. What's the most reasonable way to get decay? Figure out how to farm some gold and farm gold. You could also, if you want a more direct, like a lot of people just get mad when I tell them that's the best way to do something. And it, I mean, the truth is, it is for some things. But if you want the more direct way, you know, you farm your wild offerings as much as you can, and you get the 10 wild offerings for one random dark mood card thing from the wild offering vendor. And whenever you don't get a decay card, you sell that or trade it for a decay card. I mean, here, you want to see something? You think 3% of your damage for one item is not very much, right? Is that what you're saying? You think, oh man, 2.8 or 3% of your damage? That's ridiculous. Well, uh, I'm going to whip out the simulator. Uh, I, I have no particular reason why I'm doing this with the simulator and not the spreadsheet, but here we are. Settings, 120 seconds, talents... 28, cut to the chase, rotation, mutilate, cut to the chase, 5,000 iterations. We're going to see, oh, something's wrong here. Are all the buffs gone? Oh, yeah, okay, all the buffs are gone. Why are all the buffs gone? I don't know what's reasonable to put that at. Talents, rotations, settings, potions, thistle tea, grilled squid, chili, goose. Dude, someone who's poor must have been using this. Tall Eye Mojo of War, Elixir of Coalesced. Okay, close enough. Okay, so we don't know exactly the proc rate of the trinket, but what we can do is we can save that, and then we can unequip Rune of the Guard Captain. And now we can just re-simulate. What do I have? 1240.88? 1240.88. And if we take off the Rune of the Guard Captain... Twelve twenty four point three zero. So that means the rune of the guard captain accounted for sixteen point five eight DPS. Sixteen point five eight divided by twelve forty point eight eight. So the rune of the guard captain accounted for one point three percent of your damage output. So if you can equip a trinket that's doing 3% of your damage output, 
or 2.8, that's more than twice as good as a Rune of the Guard Captain. Sandstorm feels like it should do less than Decay on single target. Um, yeah, I'd agree with that. <laughs> However, it, it's a, they're about equal on single target damage is what I've seen. Yeah, dude, just buy Julie's Dagger, precisely calibrated boomstick, 2x15 agility enchants, Plague's deck, and Sandstorm deck. Uh, also, two Librem of Veracity, so you can get eight agility, helm, and leg enchants, and the Flask of Nightmarish Mojo. That one's over 100 gold still uh, for your 15 attack power to shoulder enchant. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. like 5,000 gold. Well, here it is. Here it is. I paid 150 gold for each of the Librams. I frankly, I got a good deal. I bought them when there were none on the auction house and I, I just offered 150 gold and I was lucky enough to get get two people um, selling them to me. Uh, shortly after that, they went up onto the auction house for more than that. So I, I got very lucky. Um, uh, so let's see, that's, that's 150 plus 150. Each time you turn in the quest, it costs you 30 more gold. So hang on, let's keep track. Hang on, let's do, let's do a notepad. Also, this got to five minutes, so I have to pay out that prediction. Choose outcome, no. Okay, start the timer again. Start the prediction again. Okay, let's see how much gold I've spent on this stuff. Pull up a notepad here. Uh, veracity. Uh, 180 x2 equals 360 gold. Uh, let's see. Uh, shoulder enchant. Those were like 15 gold per item and we needed 10 items to craft it. So that's about 150. I think I might've got it for a little less than 150, but we'll say 150. Um, I didn't actually buy the agility in chance yet. Uh, I bought the dark moon decks for 300 gold each, which is a uh, dark moon decks. Uh, 350 x2 equals 700. Uh, what else did we do? Um, consumes week one. Uh, 600. Still need to buy agility enchants. This isn't actually that absurd. This is, so far, we've spent around 1750. What is this? This is 1060. 1,660, 1,810 gold so far. But I don't have a Julie's yet. That's at least 1,000. Maybe 1,500. And I need 2x agility enchants. Last I checked, those were 350 gold each. So let's say 300 each equals 300 each. Because the price is, is coming down, you know. 600. So we're 1810 in. We still need to spend 2100 more. Which means bissing out this phase is running roughly 4090. There's um, 80 more gold on the consumables. Just like the graphics card I don't have. Oh, yeah, cost of shoulders. Yeah, I forgot that. We're way above 4090. Uh, shoulders, 16 gold per item. I needed 10 seeds and 8 chimera leathers. So that's six, 18 items times 16 equals 288. Shoulders were 288. So that's... 2098. Okay. 
Yeah, see, the trick with the Dark Moon decks was to buy them before the fair came to town, and literally no one had any idea if they were good or not. So I took a gamble buying both of the decks, being like, well, maybe these are good. And uh, turns out I was right. <laughs> you can't buy those for 350 gold anymore. Most of the Dunes deck, the individual cards cost 350 gold. Mm -hmm. And you show daggers. Yeah, dude, I got Degraded Dire Nail and I got Gurubashi Backstabber. This seems like it's going to be a long-ass respawn. I will give it to 626 and then we're just going to call it and go to sleep. Why before DMF? Ah, because, okay, you can only turn the deck into the actual trinket at the Dark Moon Fair. So, Monday of this week was when the fair first came to town after Phase 3 dropped. And after Phase 3 dropped is when players could start acquiring the cards. Okay, the, the blue, the rare cards that you assemble into the deck. So, players started getting them not knowing exactly, like you could data mine it, you could see, oh, Dark Moon card Sandstorm. But no one really knew what the proc rate of this thing was. You know, no one knew the, like, exact behavior of it. So no one knew for sure if they were good or not. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I bought both of the decks. Because I looked at the effects and I was like, well, this one could be good. Oh, shit. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, Vex, you want to vanish here? That's... Was that before or after the timer hit five? We're going to have to check the VOD for that. Okay, I have to get to max range. We're, we're in fucking go mode here, okay? What the? It didn't hit it. What the hell happened? My bomb just didn't hit. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, hang on. I have a, I have a other bomb. I'm gonna wait for them to engage some other scourge mob. And then use my other bomb. Alright, prediction. Will it spawn before the timer gets to five minutes? Uh, apparently the answer is... Oh, wait, shit. Vex is trying to do it. Okay. See if he can get the split. Vex, did you see where the cave was that I was running into before? It looks like one... Oh no, he's not reset. Okay. It's looking good. Ooh, the crippling there is probably not good, because now the other guards are ahead. Wait. Nope, the split is good. The split is good. You're clear. You're clear. I got crippling covered for you. I'm going to let you build up a little bit more threat. Uh, you, As soon as I can, I will try to stun, and you can do a U-turn. Right? I think right near Stratholme is probably where you want to be. See if I can... I think I'm actually better off doing the stun with a um, kidney. Okay, here comes the attempt. Failed. Oh, shit. I forgot. I forgot I had to do that. I got it again. It spawned like five seconds after the timer got to five minutes. Sarth, you joined us at just the right time. We're farming the Crimson Courier. The Crimson Courier has been split away from th their bodyguards. Okay, I'm going to go for the kidney. Got it.
Yeah, and we can just turn around like that. That's nice. Yeah, uh, sorry, there was a YouTube comment from, or sorry, not a YouTube, a Wowhead comment from 2019. So that's classic. That's not like old, old era. Um, or old, old original. Uh, from 2019 that said they, they got a righteous orb drop from this mob. Oh, shit. Uh, you want another kidney shot? I can do another kidney. Okay. There it is. Does the orb have a 100% drop rate? Oh! That would be nice if it had a 100% drop rate. Oh, your guild has six already, so it's 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 confirmed, and we just haven't gotten lucky enough. Uh, according to Wowhead, it's a two percent drop rate. Ooh, I got stunned. I think Vex has a- this was smart. He used Deadly Poison for more threat. Like, he has a big threat lead on me, actually. Like, it's very good. Alright, I can do another... Stunned it. Had to for the interrupt. Does the Crusader enchant drop? No but materials for the Crusader enchant drop. And I believe this is the only mob in the game right now that can drop a Righteous Orb. The other one in Eastern Plaguelands, Demetria. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm too slow. I was too slow. Damn. Okay, I can do another kidney if you want. You ready? All right, we trade sides. Missed kick. It's okay. Oh, the oh the slow is off. Okay, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Coming. Okay, we got it. We got it. It's fine. I'm gonna vanish off this threat. Let me do a refresh of. Oh, never mind. Kicked. Energy low. Oh, no, I got it. Okay, we're fine. Okay. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, 30 second prediction. 30 second prediction. Did the orb drop? Uh, did the orb drop? Uh, prediction is up. Prediction is up. Okay, 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 okay. Two hundred and fifty thousand points on no. Haters. Here we go. We did get a sharpshooter Archibus of the Eagle. 
but no righteous orb, unfortunately. Big DE? Yeah, that might be like eight gold worth of disenchant materials. Choose outcome. Did the orb drop? No. Uh, that's probably the last one I'm doing for today. It's dinner time for me. That was a, um, unexpectedly more exciting stream than I thought it was going to be. You know, we kind of fucked around for a while. <laughs> uh, and then we found something incredibly based to be doing. Farming righteous orbs off the one mob in the game that can even drop them. What are you eating for dinner? I'll pull, I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm eating for dinner. Pasta, man. You guys, I've shown you this before, right? You guys know about the pasta mancer. Hang on, we gotta get the good audio quality here, okay? I made some whole grain pasta with some meatballs, sprinkle a little parmesan, little mozzarella, some mm -hmm. marinara sauce, mm -hmm. a little olive oil. Oof, mm. good stuff. Yeah. That's what's for dinner. Okay, Vexed, thank you very much for helping out. Plundered helped out quite a lot today, too. Corvina, thank you for coming by, helping out. I appreciate it. We um struggled substantially when we were soloing. Man, the, it was the best. When I was soloing, and I, like, finally got the split on the Crimson Courier to, like, isolate it from the guards... And then I just, I called in the cavalry and you guys like flew from across the world to show up in Eastern Plaguelands while I was endlessly kiting this mob, dealing 40 damage every six seconds. <laughs> and then like eventually some, some folks showed up and helped me and like we were actually able to kill it. Ooh. This was a good one, I would say. 